Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. So today's video is kind of a haul. So I have a few items that I've purchased recently or like in the past couple of months. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to go through all of that with you guys. But actually, the first thing I saw was this Trader Joe's um, watermelon facial mist. So far, it's nothing special. It just smells like artificial watermelon, like watermelon candy. It's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't buy it again. <laughs> I think it, it's nice because it has like that milky feeling, but at the same time, my skin has been breaking out and I'm not sure if this is the cause or the DHC oil. Um, so I just gave the DHC oil to my sister and then keeping this one once my skin cools down a little bit I do plan on um, using this again and seeing if that's the one that's been causing my breakouts So the next item is actually one that I've been wanting to try for so long And I finally did make an order with Ulta because I needed some uh, shampoo and some sunscreen and basically a lot of things So um, I did just end up adding this to my cart because I already had to make an order so yeah, but uh, this is the Essence Lash Princess. Um, I'm wearing it today for the first time. I don't mind it, but I, everyone was talking about this like it just like volumizes your lashes. I feel like it just made my lashes look skinnier and it didn't really do anything to volumize it. But I'm going to play with it a little bit more and see because it is my first time wearing it. So while I made my Ulta order, I actually saw this Essence and Ulta Beauty lip gloss. Um, it's Girls United and it's in the shade Power Nude, so I'm actually really excited to use this one. I haven't used it yet because it's still in the packaging, but I I don't know. I saw it and it was on sale for $1.50 and I was like, you know what? I don't have that many glosses. I think I'm almost done with one of my glosses and then I have one that's not actually a gloss. So the next two are from Ace Beauté. Um, they're these two little... Um, what are they called? Glimmer eyeshadows. My sister um, actually gave these to me. I was going to buy them because I went to do her makeup and I did her makeup and I used these on her because she had them. And I was like, oh, wow, these perform really well and I really like them. So I was going to make an order and then the next time I went, she was like, just take them. I don't want them. So I have two new eyeshadows for my sister. Um, they're really, really pretty and they're pretty expensive, if I'm being honest, if you just or to get it from their website. I think I've used the pink one a lot more. Yeah, I think you can tell a little bit. And then my other sister actually gave me this TARDIS Pro Glow um, highlight and contour palette. So I haven't opened it, but I, I mean, I have opened it, but it's brand new, but I don't know if I dropped it or my sister dropped it at some point, but the, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that on, but basically the highlighting shade um, cracked a bit. I think I broke it, so I don't know, but I'll repress it. One of them had this Celestial Thunder, uh, Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette, and it is so pretty. I, I was seeing everyone get it from their BoxyCharm, and I was like, I want that, it's so gorgeous. And so I ended up um, looking on Poshmark, just, I, I wouldn't normally buy like new releases and stuff on Poshmark because they could easily be fake, but this girl, I, I double checked and everything that she has listed on her Poshmark shop and basically um, was everything that I was seeing everyone get from their boxy charms. And so I was just like, you know, she probably has boxy charm and they didn't like these products. So I did end up picking it up from her and I got a really good price on it. So I was so happy, but I ended up getting this one as well as the Storybook Cosmetics, a little Red Riding Hood one. And I haven't really played with this. I think I used it once and that was about it. But I do want to play with it a little bit more. The two shades, one in rose water and then the other one is truffle. I just scratched them up a little bit, but I've used these um, a couple of times. This one I've used like four or five times probably. And I think I've used the black as an eyeliner for rose water. I actually, I used this today, one of the shades in here, but I've actually been using this um, pretty often, I guess when I'm not using my Panos eyeshadows shadows, I'm using this one. And the next um, two items, actually three items, came from another Poshmark order. I got the Ciate London blush in the shade Dusk. It is gorgeous. The texture is weird, I didn't realize that. Anyway, so like, you probably can't tell, but um, it's a really subtle blush. And I think I like the fact that you can build it up because you know, it's really, really pretty. Like it's 
I don't know, it's one of those baked blushes and I love this packaging, it is so cute. And then she had this nail polish uh, duo. Um, I have this one, so I know I like it. Um, it's the Pink Gel Coat from Perfect Formula. I know that I like it, so I did want to grab another one um, because it was so cheap and it's not that cheap online. I feel like I love that nail polish because um, it's just a clear gel coat, but it makes my nails look more lively. I don't usually get face masks and I didn't actually buy this one, but she did end up adding in a little face mask. Oh, it's not even a face mask, it's a hand mask. That would work because my hands have been dry. Yeah, she added a hand mask and that's really cute. So yeah, in addition to what I already purchased. I did actually, with the Ulta order, I did make another um, addition to that. I actually made two. So I got a uh, CoverGirl BB cream, but the shade match thing for Ulta was just so difficult. Like I, I genuinely was so confused. I was like, okay, like online, it looked like it would be mine. So I got the light medium, I thought, but I guess I got medium to something else. Anyways, you can tell I'm not medium, I'm light. So I ended up, so I ended up getting the CoverGirl BB cream and that was too dark for me and I just ended up giving it to my sister because it was super cheap, it was on sale. And so I did that, I gave it to my sister because she's not that, like, she's not that shade yet, but during the summer she'll get to that shade. Um, all of that to say that I ended up getting two CoverGirl foundations, one BB cream, one foundation, and then I finally got my hands on this. I was holding out because my Walmart didn't have the correct shade match for me. So it looks a little bit too dark in the package, but it could be deceiving. I mean, I didn't want to get something too light and then possibly tan. Do I tan? I don't really know. So I actually don't have it with me, but I also did end up taking Kelly Gooch's advice. I messaged her on Instagram asking if she had like a sunscreen recommendation for cruelty-free brands because a part of me didn't want to go to super goop or uh crave just because they're so expensive and if i didn't like them that would kind of suck but um she did end up saying that bear republic had a facial sunscreen that she really enjoyed and so i did end up picking that up with the ulta order and then um that was awesome i also did pick up um the derma e conditioner for the scalp i really really like that so far it's been great for my hair yeah that's basically all I had to say I'm really excited to test out all these new products. Um, I'm not somebody who makes like beauty hauls because I don't usually get new products. Um, I don't really mind using what I have. I actually prefer it, but um, this is what I kind of accumulated over the past couple of months. And I thought, you know what, why not just do a little haul for you guys? Um, so yeah, anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.